Hey there. So in this video, I want to quickly share with you something that has helped me become profitable when cr trading crypto or Bitcoin. And it's that I personally always take profits. Now, this isn't meant to be financial advice, and I'm not telling you to go ahead and sell or or to take profits yourself. But this is something that has helped me. And the reason why I say I always take profits is because I've been in the crypto space long enough to know that there's always a run up and then a, a dump down, a run up, a dump down, right? So it doesn't matter what time frame you look at, if whether it's on the daily, hourly, so on and so forth. But if you go as far as back as 2017, and this is kind of where I jumped in into crypto around, probably between uh, some sometime in March, if I remember correctly. So I remember uh, getting in maybe around here, and then it went down and it went up and down and then I, I still remember this one in the summer it just went like down 40 percent and i thought i was like oh my goodness this is it's over but you know it, you, you learn from that experience right it goes up down up down right and and then same thing here it goes up down about 20 percent right and then up another like what 100 percent, and then down 40%, right? So like for myself, I've been in the crypto space long enough to know that it's normal for Bitcoin or whatever sort of market, well, especially crypto because it's just so volatile to go up and down. And the reason why I'm making this video is because we saw that, oh, uh, Bitcoin went down, uh, what, 12% in a matter of minutes. And I'm not, I'm not surprised, right? So, I mean, I, I've been seeing some comments out there. Oh, my goodness, Bitcoin, what, what happened? It just dropped so quickly. And those are probably people who are new to the space. But if you take a look at the charts, it always goes up, comes down, goes up, comes down. Now, for myself, I'm not trying to time the top and I'm not trying to time the bottoms. But what I do is I take some profit and then the rest, like, you know, so whatever my profit is, it's, it's house money. So that's house money that I can use. And because I now have house money, my average cost is now lower. So if I, example, buy here and then start selling here, my average cost on on it is even lower, right? Because I have now I now have house money. Now I don't sell everything. I do sell in small portions. So example, I'll be like uh, maybe one percent here, five percent here. 10% here, so on and so forth, right? So I'll never exit out of a single position or out of my position entirely, and I'll never buy in on a single position. So example, if I'm over here, if, you know, obviously it's in, in retrospect, it's easier to say, but as an example, if I buy, let's just say over here, and then it goes up, maybe what, like, it goes up about 10%, you know, I'll sell like, as as it goes up even as it goes up I'm, I'm taking profits but mind you these are it's really small portions like let in, in the single digits like one two three four five percent right and then as you're selling up your average cost is going down so then example if this is when i see when i saw this coming i was buying in super small increments all the way down so my average cost is maybe over here right Again, I'm not catching the bottom, but may maybe my average cost is over here. And then I start taking profits even more. And then so my average cost gets lower and lower. And then here, right, it, as it goes up, I'm able to sell more and make more money. You know, if it goes back down, then fine, I'm, I've got the cash to, to buy on a reload, right? So that's just me. And this is what I personally do. Now, I'm not saying this is what you should do, but this is something I just thought I'd share with you just because... I see some people freaking out over this over here and I think it's people who are new to crypto or just people who uh, just keep holding holding the bag as they say right and you know for myself I've been in crypto in 2017 I experienced this whole not only did I experience this whole run up here but I also experienced this whole down run from 20k all to right so 20k all down to here and this whole time I've been holding on to, like, I, I never took any profit, right? So it wasn't until after this sort of experience where I realized, okay, markets go up and markets go down. 
you know, it's, it's just, you got to take profits. There's no one's going to time the exact bottom and exact top. So you might as well just start uh, em buying and selling on in small increments to uh, to lower your cost. But yeah, anyways, that's uh, just something I wanted to share with you. And hopefully you can gain some value out of it. Anyways, I hope you found this informative and educational. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you think that there's someone who can find this educational and informative, then please share it with them. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below because I do check them. And if you are interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.